In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create this sketch here. So I'm going to control tab back to my other part. In the first step, I want to create an offset plane. So I'm going to choose the top plane, go to reference geometry, plane, and I'm going to create an offset plane 0.850 above it. I'll zoom out. It's going the correct way. It's fully defined. I'll say OK. Now in this plane, I'm going to create a sketch and I'm going to look normal to it. So what I'm going to do is use my mouse gestures to activate line and I'm going to sketch two lines. I'll just double click, move over here, sketch my second line, and push escape. I use mouse gestures to activate smart dimension and I'll dimension this 0.525. I'll make the length of this line two inches. I'll make the length of this line one inch. I'll dimension from here up one inch. And I'll push escape. And the last thing I'm going to do is right click on this line, select its midpoint, hold control, select this line, and I'll make them coincident. So I'm going to switch to the isometric view now. So the sketch is done and it's fully defined. We'll go back to look normal too. And I'll zoom in just a little bit. Now I'm going to use the offset to entities command. So I'm going to tell to offset entities, and I'm going to do a couple of things. I'll set my distance up to 1 16th. I want it to add a dimension. I'm going to select a chain, and I'm going to have it go bi-directional. So I'll select this line, and then this line. Now that I've selected two entities, this is no longer grayed out. I'm going to tell it to cap the ends. So if I uncheck that, they're not capped. I'm going to cap it with arcs. I have also the option to cap it with lines. And I'm going to say OK. And then for the construction geometry, that's the geometry I used to create the offset. I'm going to click here and tell it to become base geometry. Notice what happens to it in the preview. We'll go OK. And because I made it base geometry, this has now become a construction line. So it took my solid line and it made a construction line and it offset. So my next step is I want to trim this out here. So I'm going to go to Trim. I'll use the Power Trim. And remember, I just click and hold and drag through the entities I want removed. And I'll do that in each corner. I'm being careful not to hold my mouse while I move through that center line or construction geometry line. And I've trimmed it out, and I'm good. So next, I want to fill at these corners. So I'm going to activate Fill It. I'm going to make my size 1 16th. And I want these four corners to be 1 16th. Now I'll right click to accept that, and I'll right click again to stop creating fillets. So one more time, I'm going to use the offset entities. I am going to offset a chain, but I only want to go in one direction. The amount's still the 16th. So I'll select this chain. I don't want this turned on this time. So I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to zoom in. These corners are highlighted because it couldn't offset that fillet. But that's OK. I want a new fillet here. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to activate fillet. And this time I want a 32nd fillet. And I want 32nd fillet where these two entities meet. So I can select the lines as I am, or I could select the corners as I did before. So where these two lines meet, I want that 32nd fillet. I'm going to right click to accept that and I'm going to right click to exit the fillet. And again, I'm going to fit the geometry to the screen. I'm going to double check it. Looks right. It's fully defined. So I'll go back to the isometric view and I'm going to exit my sketch. And in the next video, we'll use this sketch to cut various steps into our part here.